Hey guys, what's up? My name's Hope. I'm a... Oh, I didn't think that through. Well, I am a nurse. <laughs> I'm not currently working. I am a part-time reseller, but putting in full-time work. And now I'm a breast cancer warrior. So I save lives, I save clothes, and I save myself. <laughs> so thumbs up for that. Um, today I have a haul. I have so many hauls that I need to film, but this is the one I'm most excited about. Uh, it was at a regular Goodwill. I do have two Ben's hauls that are coming next though. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and follow along. We have like six weeks until my next surgery. Um, the reconstruction, I had a bilateral mastectomy. If you're new here, I am a cancer warrior, but we're not here to talk about cancer today. We are here to show you all these amazing clothes. So many amazing clothes. So my husband had to go to the office and he was like, do you wanna come with me? There's that Goodwill uh, nearby. And I was like, sure. He's like, well, I'm gonna be at the office for like four hours. Are you gonna be fine there? And I was like, yeah, I'll be fine. I'll just, you know, look at every little thing. I've not been to this thrift store before. Uh, it's like way far out of my comfort zone of driving. So I go, <laughs> as far as I go is a certain store. And yeah, so unless my husband takes me, I'm not going. So anyways, I'm gonna try to film the whole haul like standing up. I might sit down, I don't know. Everything is on the rack because I'm getting ready to steam. And I contemplated doing like a steam my rack with me like and like talk about the haul. But then I didn't think that I would be able to stay focused because like when I'm steaming, like I'm focused on steaming, there's no way I could talk. I don't know, I might try it some other time because there's so much I wanna update all you guys about. But without further ado, I'm gonna show you my receipt. This is my receipt. This haul um, is from November 9th. And I spent $259.09 and got 50 items. And there was a 15% reward off $30 and a VIP reward. So I got 25% off. I saved $74.42. So this haul would have cost $325-ish. So 50 pieces, $259. It equaled uh, what? five dollars and a couple cents each item all right so we'll start with shoes i have like i found a thousand dollars worth of re like retail the five pairs of shoes retailed for a thousand dollars and i was like oh my gosh it was a really good thrift day and i was actually only there two and a half hours because my husband showed up early and i was like no i'm finding so much good stuff okay that's the longest intro of life are you ready to see? This is going to be long. So I told you when I came back with haul videos, they were going to be like marathons. So you can work, you can ship, you can list, you can, yeah, whistle while you work. I am here with a haul video and I'm so excited to be back filming hauls. So excited. Okay, so the first thing, I have notes on these because I already looked them up. These are the Fry uh, Page Tall Riding Boots in, what color is this? Uh, tan. Duh. I mean, I know they're tan, but I didn't know they had a special color. So, there's the Fry logo there. I mean, they have wear, but they have these at $10, $9.99. But like I said, average cost was only five. Um, yeah, they just need me to put some Wonder Balsam all over them. And yeah, they'll be good to go. I love it when they're like distressed like that. So, and they are size seven and a half. That's my size. Next, I found these. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Actually, George found these. He came, like I said, early. He got off work early and he came in and was walking around. He always does. He always goes to the Beanie Babies because he swears that one day he's gonna find uh, Princess Diana's be Beanie Baby. Sorry, I'm gonna like lift that up so you can see my face and you know, make a million dollars or whatever. <laughs> he's so silly. Anyways, that's what he does when he joins me. They're these and they're literally in such good condition. Like, look inside. They're green, olive green, and navy blue. And they are called, hold on, I have the name. The Thea Sandal in color block. So, and they're like a size 10, I think. 10, yes, size 10. So we got those. These retail for $98. The Fry Boots retail for $398. Then I just happened to look, and sure enough, see, can you see? Or no, let me show you this one better. See by Chloe, aren't these adorable little leather chunky heel? They are so tiny though, they're a five and a half, but who would care? <laughs> they have these for $5.99, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. There is a little bit of stuff here, but I have not done any cleanup work on any of these shoes, so I'm so excited. These are called See by Chloe Leather Romy City Sandals in Nero. Then I found these, they made me instantly think of Tata. Lori, 
Lori Tata, Lori's Boston Town. You guys know her. <laughs> Chow Bella. These are size eight Saludos. They are brand new. These retail right now on the website for $98 or $99. 99 yes. These are the platform Chow Bella Platform Espadrille Classic Smoking Slipper in Dusty Rose. So, those. I don't think those will sell right now, but they're brand new, so I'm so excited. Okay, last pair of shoes are these One State, the Shia Shooty, like their shoe booties. They're brand new. I mean, they've probably, like, they have the sticker from Nordstrom. Looks like they've been walked on, but, like, the sticker's still here. Look at the heel. It's perfect. So, I'm not going to call them new. I'm just going to call them pre-owned. They're in, like, an olive, like, an olive green. Oh, my gosh, I love these so much. And they are in size 6, the Shia. And they're all genuine leather. Isn't that great? And these were retail for, what? I can't remember. $125 for those one states. Okay, so that's all the shoes. Aren't we starting out awesome? I'm so excited. So I have everything on the rack, so I'll just grab off the rack and show you, you guys, you guys. Okay, if you're having fun throughout the video, just thumbs up, okay? All right, I don't know comps on all of these things, and I'm sorry. So the first rack I went to was like this sweaters and uh, this, this and this other piece I'll show you next were right beside each other, and I instantly knew this was Lily. I mean, nothing major here, but Lily Pulitzer, it's size small, has this little zip, little jacket with the kangaroo pocket, and what are these monkeys? I think they're monkeys. Yeah, it's in perfect condition. So, man, this is like, I need to, I feel like you need to be farther and maybe up taller. Hold on. Yeah, so it's it's literally in perfect condition. I mean, probably worn and washed once or twice. So I found that, and then right beside it, Marked for $4.99. I can't, like, I'm so excited. Was this J. Crew, brand new with tag, linen cardigan. It's like long line, deep pockets. It's blue. It's linen. I think it's, let me tell you. Summer of 2020. It's 66% linen, 34% viscose. It's like heavy duty, deep pockets, size small, but definitely oversized has the slits up the side yeah I'm so excited to list this this I don't even know what it retailed for but I can't wait to find out so do, we're gonna do tops next because when I get to the dresses you guys yeah <laughs> so this was all what I found just in one row that's what makes it so amazing this is loft okay nothing special but it's emerald green that beautiful holiday green size medium new with tag retails for $55 a lot of people wouldn't pick up loft, but for, f was it four, I think $3.99 was their tank tops. And it was new with tag. I bought it. I listed it for $25. It sold in four or five days. I can't remember. It was four or five for $25. Full price. Someone bought it outright. So this is getting shipped off today. Put that to the side. Okay. This is Point Sur, size two. This is black. It doesn't look black in this lighting but it is and it's got all this crochet and lace detail size two it zips up the back I don't know the fabric it's 100% cotton no 100% viscose I'm sorry yeah and it, it's from 2018 but I'll pick up point sir it's so like the higher tier J crew and this is a classic so a staple piece if you will then it's not a hope haul if there's not J crew I do so well with J crew this is a J crew size small it's the black label there and this is merino wool. It's $4.99. Turtlenecks are kind of the thing. And stripes. 100% merino wool. And there's no holes. It's navy and cream. It's so soft. It's like a little shell turtleneck. A perfect staple. Nice and cozy. Beautiful fabric. Then, look at this one. This is hand knitted. It's vintage. It says hand knitted. Well, it says knitted by hand. And Huntington Ridge. Also, my nails are cute. I have some green and red on this side, and then I lost the rest in the bathtub. This is a size uh, ladies extra large Huntington Ridge. Look at $4.99. Look at the detail. It's blue and brown and cream. Oh my gosh, isn't it fabulous? So yeah, hand knit sweaters are really popular i'll probably be able to get like 40 50 dollars for that i'm sorry that i don't know the comp comps right off my the top of my head i just don't i haven't looked any further than into a few of the dresses and all the shoes 
in the pajamas. Um, Eileen Fisher, extra large, and I believe this is 100% merino wool. Yeah, so this is a red Eileen Fisher 100% merino wool um, high-low turtleneck sweater or cow neck. I, I need to run it through the wash because it has this little like white toothpaste. <laughs> I'm not really sure, and it definitely needs a lint roll. There's tons of hair all over it, but I, it's got like a bat wing, dolman sleeve, slouchy, high low, so soft. There's no holes in this baby. Stunning. And it's an extra large, so that's perfect. I need to get that little stain out and get it listed ASAP because it's red. It'd be perfect for Christmas. This is J. Crew Mercantile. The re I mean, this is a cotton, and I got it because of the color, and I just love. This is cotton, wool, and nylon. This is like your perfect tan wrap sweater. It's a, like it's a full wrap. Boy, that sun is washing me out. So it's like that beautiful camel color. It's in great condition. I love it so much. I just sold a J. Crew sweater the other day for $79. $79? Yes, I think it was $79. It was a sweater. It was cashmere, but it was J. Crew. So yeah, you never know unless you try, right? All right, look. This is free people, and this is in that like rusty orange camel. Oh my gosh. How, look at these sleeves. How fabulous is this? Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Do you see it? So like, yeah, that's very true to color. It's like a cable knit, little ruffle hem. And I think this is so small, but it's definitely way oversized. And I feel like this, I mean, it's got pills, but I think it's from the fabric. This one is rayon, oh, it's 25% alp alpaca, 45% rayon, and 27% nylon. So this is 25% alpaca. No wonder it has all those fluffs. Isn't this fabulous? And then, this is a dress, but they they must have thought it was a shirt because they only priced it at $4.99. Now hear me out. Any other day, I would not pick up Target for, unless it's at the bins, usually. Or new, if it was new attacks for four ninety nine, I would get it. But it was an extra large, and I love this color for right now. And these sleeves, and this print, and it's in like perfect condition, <laughs> and an extra large. And then I thought, I mean, maybe I could wear it like oversized with some boots. But it's really big on me, so it's lined. It's really good quality. So it's a new day, extra large, deep V neck, really boho like poet sleeves, I love it. And I, here goes my phone. I sell Target for 20, 25 bucks. Someone rich, a few people who are rich, donated all of their fancy dresses. Not fancy, but really expensive dresses. This is, if you don't know, you know now. Lem Lem, this is a size medium. So it's Lem Lem by Laya Kibiti. And I have, oh my gosh, look at this dress. It slits up the front. It has ruffles and stripes. It's 100% linen. Button detail, the ruffles, the zigzags. I mean, it is just like a work of art. And it's in perfect condition. Yeah. I've already taken pictures of this and I've already researched this. This dress, 100% made with love and care in Africa. Lim Lim is an artisan driven brand of beautiful women resort wear made entirely and responsibly in Africa with a core mission of preserving the local art of weaving in Ethiopia and inspiring economic growth on the continent. Oh, meaning to bloom and flourish in the Ethiopian language of Amaric, Lem Lem is a label of love, celebrating women in nature. Oh my gosh, you guys. So this country, this, by employing traditional weavers, we're trying to break their cycle of poverty while preserving the art of weaving to create modern, casual, comfortable clothes that re that we really want to wear. So that dress was in the 2018 Vogue runway show, and it is called, here's the, this was the runway photo. And it is called the Amani Ruffle, Lem Lem Imani ruffled embroidered cotton and oh it's cotton and silk not linen that's the other piece sorry <laughs> and silk blend gauze midi dress in a crew this dress retailed for four hundred and fifty nine dollars four hundred and twenty five dollars holy smokes I'm so excited 
Okay, so that's not it. <laughs> because right beside it was another Lem Lem piece, and this one is a jumpsuit. And this one is linen, I'm pretty sure, 100% linen. This one is a size small, Lem Lem, L-E-M, L-E-M. If you don't know it, write it down. The reason I knew that it was something special was because Tata has found this brand before, and I remember, this is why watching YouTube videos is so important, I remember her talking about it. This is not linen either. I, I'm a habitual liar. It's 98% cotton, 2% polyurethane. Um, look at it. So it ha it's like like a quilted fabric. But yeah, I remember Lori Tata talking about it, uh, or finding the brand and like being pleasantly surprised. And then like this is like a cinch waist, and then has pockets in the back. And like look at the embroidery down the leg, all the way down the leg. Oh my gosh, you guys! This one retails for like three hundred and twenty-five or three hundred and fifty. I don't remember. But, I mean, obviously, $1,000 in two dresses or $850, whatever it is, it's not, I'm not going to get that. I'm, I will probably get, like, $150. I'm hoping for that one and, like, $80, $90. I don't know. I have to do, now that I have the names, I have to do the research on the comps. And then, <laughs> I was like, someone was so boho and, like, loved their fabrics and just donated all their clothes. This is called... Lila P. Ruffle Neck Cotton. I have it wrote down over here because I was researching. Cotton Gauze Peplum Dress. This one is like in a cranberry color. This one was new with tags and it's a small, definitely oversized, very gauzy, very boho. And this retails for like $150. I was ecstatic. <laughs> ecstatic. Now, we're going to fly through these few ones, but it's loft. And I already told you I sold a loft tank in this haul already for $25. This is loft, it was size 18. It's not the right season, but it's new with tag, plus size 18. Look how cute the little sleeves are. It's just a floral midi, I think it would be mid, maybe maxi, midi dress with a slit. I haven't found a stock boat or anything. Has a slit up the front right there. New with tag, size, plus size 18. I'm, I'm gonna get that all day long. And it's perfect for like a vacation. Same thing with this one. This is probably a good holiday dress. I should list this now. It's a deep navy. The lighting isn't getting it like it should. But this is the bottom part because the slip only goes to half, like to the knee, and then the rest of it is sheer floral. This is torrid, has slits. It's blue. It's a size 2X. Isn't that such a pretty dress? It is beautiful. And then right beside it is another dress, but they had it in the dress section, but priced it as a sweater. I'm fine with that. This is Free People in Beach. Free People Beach. I do so well with Free People Beach. This one is a medium. It's ribbed, buttoned down, really slouchy pockets, high low, like a beach cover or like a sweater. It's very, it's, a, it's definitely a sweater. Midi length. Yeah. So I don't know what it's called, but I got that. They only had it for $4.99. And then I couldn't say no to this because it was so cute. It's like a gingham v-neck blue and white picnic little midi dress by J. Crew. Like it goes, mm, it goes below my knees and it buttons all the way down the front and it has po pockets. Like this is like the perfect little, I'm going on a cruise or a picnic dress, right? Isn't it so cute? I loved it. So I got that. Then I found this, and this is a US size 12. I've never heard of, see they have, their dresses are $7.99, but I didn't pay that because I got all that money off. Um, the Seville Row Company, women's US 12. You guys, I got this literally just for the print. I did not care about the brand. I was like, I'll look it up later. Look at it. It is hot air balloons and little birds all over it. And it's like a fit and flare, like pinup style kind of, with this big bow. And it's a size 12, it zips up the back. Isn't it stunning? I haven't done any research on this. It's, I don't know if it's good or not, but like I'm just based on the novelty print and the size and how adorable it is for spring and summer or a beach vacation. Like I'm gonna definitely price like 40, 50 bucks. I don't know if it's worth that. <laughs> well, maybe it's, watch it be an Amazon brand, oh my gosh. But I think style alone will sell that. This is City Chic. I never pick up this brand, but 
It had a Macy's price tag on it, City Chic, Macy's, size 16W. This is velvet, so got like a sweetheart almost. It's like a psh, psh, sweetheart neck with a poof cap sleeve. It's belted at the waist. It has pockets. It's a fit and flare, and it's new with tag, so I got it. You guys, look at this. I found twins. And I loved that. I loved the first one. And then when I seen the second one in another size, I was like, oh, well, that's an easy listing. So this is Lou and Gray Loft. Let me see if what the fabric is. I know, they're lined. They are done really well. And they are from summer of 2020. And they're viscose and cotton. Yeah, they're so soft. They're like a little dreamsicle dress. And I figured this would be so flattering. It's got that tie right here, like right like a drapey bring you together since you in pockets midi length lined look at the colors I, so this is a medium I can't wait to try this on <laughs> and this one is a large so even if I don't want to keep the dress I can do multi quantity listing because I have a size medium and a size large they're not new with tag but they're in Excellent condition. I couldn't believe I found them both on the same day. This is Madewell. Oh my god, I love this dress because it reminded me of Pretty Woman. <laughs> you know, when she's stomping the divots? Rivets? Is it <laughs> The poop? The horse poop? <laughs> no, it's not the poop, it's the grass. The stomping of the rivets. Is it rivets or divots? Hmm, leave it in the comments. If you're still here, thank you so much. Don't go anywhere. It just gets better. This is Madewell. It's 100% silk. It's got a sheer chiffon sheer sleeve a cinch little waist v-neck look at the but look at buttons these are buttons oh my god it's adorable is it pockets no pockets but that's adorable okay and it's a size small then so these the ones i'm about to show you there's like five of them they were all six of them they were all right beside it was like one right after the other so you could tell they got a donation and put them all they're all around the same size and they put them all together and i just happened to be the lucky one to get them. This is Anna Sui for Anthropology. Size so small, look at this dress. This is also 100% silk, ties up the back, and it has this little bow. It's like a mixed floral, like a light and dark floral. It's lined and swooshes. How cute is that? It's so cute. So that's a size small as well, and it has a ruffle at the bottom. This. I already found comps on this I, because I looked it up just to make sure it wasn't like a boutique brand because I wasn't going to pay, you know, if it was. This is called Burlap, B-U-R-L-A-P-P. -P. This is an anthropology brand. I don't know if it still is, but I know it was. And I found a sold comp on this dress on Posh for $40. So I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm going to get it. It is adorable. It's 100% silk. It's like a dandelion, but I think the dress is like the poppy or the dandelion something. And it had, it's... 100% silk, no pockets, but it's, see that? That's my husband down there screaming because the FIFA Cup was on, or the World Cup, or something. Soccer's on, and he's yelling, if you can hear that, and I'm so sorry. This is a size 2, so it's smocked in the back, and then poofy on the outside. Has the stripes that match this. Oh, it's darling. My gosh, it's darling. Okay, right beside that was this, which is Moulinette Sears. Also anthropology. This is also a size two. This is so this one does have pockets. Look how cute. This is so mod and adorable. Like a mod floral dress. Again, 100 percent silk in excellent condition. I love this girl. <laughs> right next to that was no, this was not right next. I'll show you that in a second. Right next to that one was this one. This is Edme and Esselet. I gotta tuck my chin here, ignore my, ignore my double chin. Also, a size 2, Edme and Asselet, which is an anthropology brand. Look how freaking cute this one is. This is also like a very, has pockets, smocked in the back, this fun little funky geometric print with this sweetheart neckline and these real thick straps. Oh my gosh. It's navy and that mustard yellow. Oh, it's adorable. And the bottom is lined with this blue. And then right beside that one was this one. Very mod, geometric print, has pockets. It's 
a mini dress. This is the front. Look at the brand. I almost died. See that? Weekend. Max Mara. Can you believe that? And this one is a US size 4. Okay, where were we? My battery died. Okay, this one was right beside the other one. Not as exciting. It's J. Crew, size 2. But for the dress, I was excited because look at these cute sleeves. It's literally brand new. That I don't think this has ever been worn, ever. It is 100% cotton with 100% cotton lining. You know, it's just a classic black eyelet dress. And so I've never heard of this. I didn't look it up. It might not be anything. It looks like Tatiana and Natucci. Tatiana and Natucci, size extra small. So if you know anything about that, she took the time to have it dry cleaned. So maybe it's good. I don't know. I haven't looked it up. But look how it goes. It's like a very mod retro, like a pinup style apple dress. It's an apple dress. Like, <laughs> and it's like midi length. Midi length little apple dress. Whoever is a teacher and like so quirky and fun, this is 100% apples. How adorable is this? And right beside that was this, which is another Free People Beach. Here's the tag. I'm literally showing you guys the haul and the way I found it. Like, could you imagine my excitement? It's plum. Um, like a purple plum. It's 100% see-through. So I think you would wear your bralette and your underwear under this and be like at the beach or maybe your bathing suit. I don't know what you wear under this, but it's 100% sheer and it has these gaping buttons all the way up to the neck. And they button, I just undid them for the hanger. And it's like a little mock neck. Floral, so cute. Then, right beside that, ignore all the wrinkles on this. This is 100% silk, no pockets, has this little drapey thing at the chest as well. Flowy, made well, size 10. Like a little black silk dress. And then, I found this. Ella Simone. Uh, can you see? Ella Simone or L Simone. This is size extra large. That, was, that played a huge factor in why, why I grabbed it. And it is like a tiered ruffle maxi. It has pockets. And this little ditzy floral all over it. So it's an all over floral print. Very flowy, bohemian, cottage core. So I got it. Never heard of the brand. It's 100% it's rayon. So it's like a very... The material feels so nice. Oh, also in the t-shirt section, I forgot to show you. When I was doing the t-shirts, I found Notorious B.I.G. in a long sleeve, and then Tupac Poetic Justice in a long sleeve as well, right beside each other, both size smalls. So I, I will always pick up Banties. Prefer to do it at the bends, but. Um, this is the Alice Satin Wrap Skater Dress in, in a black, and it's a size 12. It's Boohoo Boutique. You guys, I if, when I tell you that I have sold Boohoo Boutique, uh, but this is like an all wrap little high low skater dress, big wrap right here, or big bow right here. Yeah, brand new with tags, of course, of course. And what I just noticed just now, just now, after two weeks, too late to take it back, is that the button is missing here. I bet you there's one in the inside. There is, look. There it is. You guys, I can't sew buttons. <laughs> oh, isn't that hysterical? Okay, then right beside it, in the pajama section, they had this for $3.99, so I literally ended up paying like $2.24 for it, but I was like, I'm gonna get it. It is a sequin wild little skirt. It is called the Plus Rouge Sequin Mini Skirt. Silver, and it's a size 18, US 18. You can't tell that it's an 18. I have it tucked back here for fo for when I was doing the photos, but I was gonna use a stock photo on this because they always have their stock photos out and it's just easier to see. And then I'll show you the rest of the, my husband, I'll show you this because we're almost done. We have just pajamas left and they're so good, so don't go. My husband came up, he went to the jackets because he knows how to look for Lululemon and he came over and he goes, is Sam Edelman good in jackets like it is in shoes? Because I always like, yeah, Sam Edelman, let me see it. Because I can usually do like, you know, at least $25 on Sam Edelman shoes, but lots of times more than that. Um, this is like brand new. The things are still on the zipper cuffs. This is like a olive green quilted Sherpa lined Sam Edelman jacket. 
in a medium. Can you believe that he found that? Like, way to go, babe. I'm so proud of you. Okay, pajamas, and then we're wrapping it up. I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. My Ben's ones are not as good as this, and a lot of the stuff from my Ben's haul has already sold, stuff that I've listed, so I'm gonna have to like pop up photos. It's, I've been such a procrastinator with hauls. I'm sorry, but I just haven't felt well. But anyways, uh, these are Hannah Anderson, the family matching PJs, 100% Pima cotton in an extra large. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna do posh shows. I have my first one for the Wednesday, November 30th. I had it for earlier, but I pushed it back due to the holidays and Black Friday and Cyber Monday and all that stuff. So I pushed it back. I'm gonna do it like a cozy Christmas, like all things Christmas, like outfits, plaids, and pajamas. Just like a cozy Christmas whole thing. I'm gonna think I'm gonna do it in front of my tree. These are Hannah Ann and these will be in that show. They're already listed on my closet though. Hannah Ann, these retail for $108 if you buy it, because they sell them and you have to buy it individually. If you bought this, yeah. Isn't that crazy? But they're Pima Cotton, they're extra large, they are women's, and they're awesome. I have a stock photo in my in my closet. Then I found this and a pair of red and green plaid um, size large pants, and like it said two piece on this, so I assumed those went with it, but then I realized, wait a minute, this is an extra large top, and the pants were from Kohl's, so I don't know. I think someone put it together, but it their sizes were different, so yeah. This says, oh fudge, except I did. So this is from the Christmas story. And I have plaid pajama pants, but I was thinking, like, it would be so cute if the person who bought these bought this, because it's all extra large, and then they could wear this underneath. Oh, I know. Then I found this Disney Store vintage, vintage Tigger embroidered, you guys, isn't that amazing? Tigger embroidered plaid sleeping gown it is one size fits most there are no pockets unfortunately but yeah just one size very very oversized i think pit to pit was like 24 26 so definitely up to xl but yeah it just has one size it's vintage it's flannel it's disney store then i found these i was looking everywhere for the shirt these are ugg size medium a leopard print loungewear jogger pants do you know how bad i want to keep these but i already have these and they're basically like the same and mine have pockets and these don't so and these retail for like 80 bucks so i'm gonna sell those i haven't listed those yet but the rest of these pajamas well no i lied a couple of these pajamas are listed like the christmas ones are and these are but the Uggs are not. These, these? This is Monkey Monkey. This pajama brand is also really expensive. They use recycled bamboo to make their fabric. So 70% rayon from recycled bamboo. And these are the softest pajamas that I've ever felt in my whole life. It's a set. It even has these little like snaps. So you can make them longer or shorter. It buttons down the front and they are ski, like a winter ski, light pink mittens and skis. These are a medium, I love them, I wanna keep them, but I have so many hot flashes that I just can't. I just can't keep them. Okay, this is pink, size small. I got, I don't, not a big pickup pink person anymore, but look, it's like the evil eye, the celestial sun and moon and stars and it's black and white and I just thought you know gosh and they're in such good condition and they're so soft so they're size small and it has like pink written in cursive above the moons all over so it's like very subtle pink Victoria's Secret and anyone who's like into astrology or you know celestial they will love those then I got these gap medium these are like long johns I don't know if these are men's or women's, but they were $1.99. I think they're men's. They're joggers. And um, they're literally brand new. Size, gap size, medium. Uh, yeah, look at the butt. How cute are these? Like, just cozy house pants. So I got those because they were two bucks, and after I got all my discounts, they were basically like a dollar and something. 
I did also want to feature that this beautiful Christian Dior robe. <clears throat> it's dead stock. I did not find this during this haul. The haul has ended. That was all 50 pieces. But if you're still here, this is dead stock Christian Dior from the 1980s Bloomingdale's Christian Dior Intimates or loungewear. This is a sleeping gown or a house gown or house coat or whatever. It zips down the front. Um, holy cow, can you believe that? I, I sourced this on Whatnot. I know. Everybody hates on Whatnot, but I haven't been selling on there as much because of the, the buyership has went down. Like they need more buyers over there, but sourcing over there is phenomenal. I got these from my girl Mix. I got this, this, not these. Yes, these, both of these. From my girl Mix Trends, at least she's like become one of my really, really good friends. Um, she's wonderful. You should follow her over on Whatnot and Instagram. Mix Trends 12. And they have pockets. And you gotta follow Mama Cheeky too. I'll leave her name in the description down below. She just started a YouTube channel and is doing it based on Whatnot stuff and like how to price and all that. But I got, I sourced this on Whatnot. So this is listed in my closet for 125. And I also got these for myself. Free people, size large. <clears throat> I called them my Hugh Hefner pajamas. They're like a pinstripe satiny, like ultra, like wide hippie leg flare leg pajama. They have pockets. They're so cozy, so awesome. Uh, they renew a tag size large, free people. I bought these from Mix and I wore them once, but I am so sh not tall enough for these. Like they drug the ground and I don't want to ruin them. So these need to go to someone who's taller or wants to wear their pants right underneath their boobs. But the shirt is like cropped. So maybe you're supposed to wear it up high. I don't know. But I thought I'm going to put those in the show and I'm going to list these. These are like $128 pajamas. Oh no, they have a little, a little run. This is the type of fabric that runs. They do have a little tiny, you can't really see it, run right there. But I'm going to list those. But I, yeah, I source on whatnot and I've sold. I am going to do a video on what I, what sold from sourcing on whatnot. Uh, just so you guys can know like what I paid and like how much I made. Like I just sold a Kate Spade purse for 150 bucks. Yeah. It was from Diane and she watches my videos. Thank you, Diane. Uh, she bought that purse. Anyways, that is it. That is all 50 pieces. Wasn't it fantastic or is that just me? Like I live in Indiana, so it's like I don't get this excited. Uh, you know, a lot of bread and butter, but like finding like Weekend Max Mara and Lem Lem I, and See by Chloe. I was just thrilled. <laughs> I was just thrilled. And all that anthropology, yeah, it was a really good thrift day and only happened to pay $2.50 for all of it. Woo! Yes. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this long haul. I hope you got so much work done. I miss you guys so much. Thank you guys for all the support in my Poshmark closet, in the comments, on all my vid the cancer videos. Um, I'll leave all my links down below. Any purchase in my closet, that comes from my YouTube channel. I will send you some of my my merch. <laughs> it's not really merch, but I have sticker packs. I have bracelets that say hope and together we fight and hope and strength. And I have little pens. So if you tell me, if you buy something in my closet and comment that you in the bundle or whatever that you're from my YouTube fam, I will send this, send something, a couple things in your package. Okay? Okay. I love you all so much. I'm so thirsty. I will see you in my next one.